I'm going to show you an incredible, incredible video in which the mother of a fallen Capitol riot officer refuses to shake Mitch McConnell's hand, and so do others, and they walk right by. It's truly incredible stuff to see. As Newsweek reports, the mother of a fallen Capitol police officer refused to shake the hands of two Republican lawmakers during yesterday's congressional gold medal ceremony honoring the officers who defended the Capitol during the January 6 riot. Gladys Sicknick, the mother of Brian Sicknick, that was the U.S. Capitol officer who died of a stroke following the riot, did not accept a handshake offered by Mitch McConnell and by Representative Kevin McCarthy. They, of course, were part of the movement that led to the riots. We have the video here and it is it's really something uh, I'm going to play it. And as you will see, uh, there are individuals here who um, first greet Chuck Schumer and uh, then they continue on by. You see that it is Schumer and then it is McConnell and then it is McCarthy. And you see Mitch McConnell stick out his hand and then you see people just walk by. You see people walk by. There is another. There is Gladys Sicknick. She walks by and then they just continue to walk by and Mitch McConnell standing there. He's really, you know, they say Joe Biden shook hands with the air. There is applause. It is really uh, Mitch McConnell there shaking hands with the air. Now, um, we actually heard from Brian's brother, Ken Sicknick, who was asked, what was that about? Why didn't you shake hands? And he says, well, it's pretty self-evident, but I'll tell you anyway. Take a listen to this. Self-explanatory, but, you know, they, they came out right away and condemned what happened on January 6th. And whatever hold that Trump has on them, they've backstepped, they've danced. They won't admit to wrongdoing, not necessarily them themselves, but of Trump, of the rioters. I mean, people like, people like Louis Gomez who presented the American flag that was flown over the Capitol to a January 6th rioter and told them they were a patriot. It's disgusting. Now it takes away everything my brother's done. It takes away my brother, but the, the heroism my brother showed. You, know, you, don't think, you don't think they deserve a handshake in this context? No. No, no, definitely not. No, because they- What are you even saying by shaking their hands? Like what, it, what it, it really, it actually doesn't make any sense. Because unlike Liz Cheney, they have no idea what integrity is. They can't stand up for what's right and wrong. But it's no, with them it's party first. Liz gave up her political career to do what was right and try to find the truth. She's, she, she's the one ray of hope, her and the whole committee, that they can show integrity, that they can show they actually care about the process, about democracy, about everything that goes on. And these guys are, oh, oh, as long as it's got a big R in front of it, we're going to do whatever you do. Hard to argue against what he's saying. And this entire January 6th riot fiasco, which now is going on nearly two years. I mean, we're getting closer to the two year anniversary of the riots. It feels like it was just yesterday. It has been emblematic of the absolute worst of the Republican Party. It's been emblematic of we just say stuff but we don't really have values we stand by, uh, such as we're for law and order until hundreds of their supporters rioted, committing various crimes on January 6, 2021. All of a sudden they're defending those people. We are for uh, backing the blue and supporting law enforcement until all of a sudden the targets of their followers were Capitol Police. And, and of course, as we know, with the FBI, that's also been a popular target as well. Every single one of these stated principles and values that they hold dear and they love to talk about here are our principles and they we can know the Constitution. Well, they want the Constitution thrown out. That was part of what the riots were for at the end of the day, whether overtly or impl implicitly, they wanted the person who won based on the process outlined by the Constitution to not get the office that they won and they wanted the guy that lost Donald Trump to be the president. But we care about the Constitution. Well, not when it's inconvenient, but we support law enforcement. Well, not when it's inconvenient. We support law and order, not when it's inconvenient. And then now all of a sudden they say, oh, pretrial detention, the conditions these rioters are being held in are unfair. Well, we've been talking about that for over a decade on the program. 
and you insist, oh, listen, if you get charged with a crime, it's probably because you're guilty and you deserve whatever conditions there are. And you're too dangerous to be let out on pretrial. Uh, you, you have to be held in pretrial detention. Endless, endless. And uh, now this is the outcome. And fortunately or unfortunately or whatever, it's a lesson that they are learning, but that they're not really appearing to learn anything from. 